Hey, this is Steve Shaw for AcrylicPouring.com, and I'm just going to say it. I've been on a really nice roll lately. Um, behind me, you can see some of the poured landscapes that I've been working on. Started out here, um, made a few changes, came up with this, made a few more changes here, and got here and felt really, really good about it. And the last poured landscape I did was this one, and it's dry enough to hold up and show. Look at that sky. I love that sky. I'm really, really happy with how things are going. I want to be a little more aggressive today and working on some trees. Um, and I'm still liking this down here. So this really today, I don't know if it's going to be so much informative um, as it is really just me kind of building my confidence and, and maybe working a little bit quicker so that I can get this really good image on here. Uh, mentioned in the last video, um, inspired originally by Gina DeLuca. She has her own channel and wow, what a big, beautiful sky. So I'm going to try to uh, incorporate that big, beautiful sky in there. Thank you, Gina. And keep going with my land down here. And let's see if we can't get some, uh, some more nice big uh, trees in this one. All right. So I have marked off my canvas. Uh, let me go ahead and switch down. Marked off my canvas, I have been talking about the rule of thirds for a while. So, of course, when I looked at this, I split it right down the middle. Um, from my last painting, if you watched the last video, I pre-painted a line on my canvas on to see if that would give me more of a, a stopping place for the paint. But the paint is actually flattened out, so this is going to be gone. We're probably never going to see that again underneath all the paint, and that's okay. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is create for uh, go ahead and create the sky and then I'll add the land afterwards so I'm gonna do this um, let's see for you guys that's gonna be let's see upside down so I'm gonna do the land nope there we go I'm gonna do that right there I apologize when I film this I actually end up filming it upside down um, the way the camera works, which messes with my brain a little bit, but I'll get through it. All right. Put one more over here. And we will be pulling that blue tape off in just a little bit. All right. I'll leave that there. Okay. Got, um, still got my lucky sky cup from yesterday from my last pour. I'm going to just mix up some good colors in here. For the sky, I'm, I'm wanting it to be mostly white. Probably going to be a clump in there. Uh, Artist Loft. I use a lot of Artist Loft paint from Michaels. also use a lot of um, Apple Barrel that I usually pick up is from Michaels as well. All right, so now I'm going to... Oh, uh, I'm going to put a little shot of silver in here couple little drops one two three man the silver is really thick I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it and I've got this really nice light pretty pretty blue these all have a little bit of water and some flow trawl mixed in with them already I'm gonna drizzle that in there and mostly with another big shot of white little bit of darker blue. Where did my darker blue go? Right here. Okay. I'm actually just going to drizzle in here. Okay. Again, this is probably 90% going to be just 90% white. Let's see what goes on here. Going to hit it with a little bit more silicone. Um, I prefer to three-in-one silicone. Um, it just works better for me. I like to seal my paintings with um, epoxy resin. And when I've used the uh, the belt, actually I have some right here. When I've used the treadmill uh, belt oil, it makes great cells, but it's so hard to get off the canvas that it just doesn't really work for me. All right, so let me do a quick little swoosh in here. Going to free, just straight pour this out. Oh yeah. Pretty stuff. Okay. 
I am going to tilt this sky around a little bit. And that silver looks pretty in there. All right. Check this out. This is what we're starting with here. And I'll tilt a little. Oh, nice. Interesting. Um, wow, this has a lot more white in it than um, than I thought it would. So let me get that little chunk out of there. If you ever have chunks in there, don't sweat it. Don't freak out. Just scoop them out. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. On the sky, I'm just kind of tilting it until it looks good to me. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Wow, okay. Um, that is almost all white, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. I'm going with that nice white sky right there with little hints of blue and a little hint of silver. Again, sometimes I have to remind myself just to relax a little bit and um, not try to control everything. Let the paint do most of the work. There we go. See a little hint of that line right there, through there. But it won't be there for long. Okay, so what was working nicely for me earlier as far as doing the land, I discovered that um, a, a um, put doing a puddle and a line and then doing a swipe across with so several shades of green was actually looking really good. So let's just do that now. Got uh, some nice dark army kind of green here, and I'm going to put that across the bottom. Nice, and maybe another row up here. The, um, ooh, that was a clump. One of these times, I haven't done it yet, but one of the things I want to do, you know, a lot of times you'll see people when they pour, they'll do a, um, a flood coat of white or some other color, usually it's white, on there um, before they start. And it kind of get lets the paint flow a little smoother, a little bit better. Um, I haven't done that yet, just because I have pretty good luck doing this. But I need to try that at some point. Oh yeah, and I've got some really nice, it's really bright going on, the super bright green, but um, but yeah, I like it. And it mixes in nicely with some of the other colors too. Oh yeah, I kinda forgot to do my puddling over here. But we'll put that in there. And this time I think I, that's not much left in there. Just get that out. Oh, I've got some really dark, dark. It's like um, aqua cobalt kind of thing going on. I'm gonna just drizzle some, some of that in there. Just see what it does. May do something great, may not do anything. Okay, I'm gonna touch down here just to get some paint along my edges. Fill in these little bald spots. Okay. All right. Let's do, there's already pretty stuff happening in there. All right, I'm gonna do a swipe across here. Um, I've got, already have a good bit of this green. It's kind of getting into my sky. You know, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, I'll come back and touch it up, do what I have to do. And if I have to pour another line across there, or even if I have to come back later and add some more paint, I will. There's that. All right, do I have any more green in here I wanna add? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit a shot of this, that silver I put in the sky that there's a little hint of right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of that in here. Come on. Actually, that's a pretty good bit of that. My favorite, oh man, let me get that dripped right in there. Let's see, just came right out. Um, My favorite swiping tool, good old paper towel in a spritz bottle with some water in it. The water on the paper towel gives it just enough weight. Um, 
I suggest trying different things is when it comes to swiping different tools. Uh, I've been known to use a business card. I've seen people use plastic sheeting. Um, uh, you can use like uh, big spatulas and stuff that you cook with, but I like the old paper towel. All right. What if I go, I've, in the past I've always gone my left to my right. Today I'm gonna go this direction. I know, I'm a rebel. All right, laying it down there, getting some contact. Ooh. Actually, I got a little dripped a little much over here. I wonder if I can get anything off of my towel here. No, I can't. Can I pull a little bit of that back? Yeah, that helped a little bit. Okay, interesting looking. I want to hit that with a torch and see what happens. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to tilt a little back and forth here. There's a speck of something right there. Get up out of there. Okay. Let's torch this bad boy, see what happens. That's looking really cool through there. I think when the heat hits that area right through here, you're gonna see all sorts of crazy cool stuff. Little creme brulee torch. For a long time I used this larger uh, propane torch. You can use those. Um, I just didn't, at the time, didn't want to spend the money on one of these. I think they're around 20 bucks or so, and I'm glad I got it. It's just smaller and easier to use. Um, when you're cranking up your torch, check the area around your, um, your pour box in your painting, because you don't want to catch anything on fire. But let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Nice. Cool. We have to wipe these sides a little. Alright, there's my horizon mark right there. So that's part of the horizon's a little bit low. What do I got over here? And my marks over here. Hmm, I'll figure out something. You know, maybe I can tilt. Uh, up towards that a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay. Back down over here. Okay. We'll see what happens over on this side. All right, so already this is looking pretty darn good. Um, what you've heard me talk about in the past, what I found that I was missing in my pores was, wow, look, these cells are beautiful in here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit sky, see if anything happens up in here. Um, but what I was missing in my pores, I feel was a, um, a hard, solid horizon line. Um, so to me, that's really what kind of worked uh, or gave it that more of the feel that I was looking for. I am going to, I've got this purple right here. Man, okay, where's my line? Here, over to here. That is, wow, tough, tough, tough. Okay, uh, let's do this. This is purple instead of black. I am just gonna touch this right here. Where's my mark? And basically, hope my head wasn't in the way. All right. That gave me a nice little line right there. Editor, I'm gonna pause right here. My wife is home from work and the dogs are gonna be barking and stuff. All right, bye. Now this is a really bizarre situation. That ribbon of black, wasn't ribbon, but that line of black paint that I originally pulled, put on there, apparently, is soaking up, swelling up with the paint, and look at that, it's just coming right off the canvas. I never would have guessed that. That is crazy. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, you do not need to be putting down any lines of black paint and letting them dry. Isn't that weird? That just came right off of there, so I'm gonna throw that in the trash. And eventually here, I need to work on getting some mountains in here and uh, and some trees, that sort of thing. Get something going along on this horizon line. So let's just see what happens. Let's do a little bit more with that little another line of the dark purple from there to there. Okay. That 
that's actually laying in there nicely. I'm going to put a bit more over here. I might even... I might even try to um, swipe up on a glob of this. I wonder if that would work. Uh, let's see, would I swipe with a card a stick? I'm gonna swipe with this, just this old craft stick and see if we can't get some mountains happening up here. Mm, still a lot in the sky. Let's do this. I know, I know, I know. I'm just taking it right off of there so I don't have to compete with that much white paint. I'm gonna pour a little, oh, go easy here, kiddo. Go a little line of purple across here. Okay. Maybe a little shot of blue in there. Okay. I get. I am just playing right now. This really, I you know, typically, I like to let the paint do the work, but I'm working it, I'm working it right now. Okay, let's pull up. sure if those are looking like well maybe not mountains but you know how um devil's tower that kind of area out there where they're kind of shooting up like that maybe that's what i'm looking at okay those are oh that's reminding me of maybe some trees in front of some mountains maybe See what happens if I pull some of this up over here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. I wonder if I can rake that down to make. I'm gonna pull up a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. Hmm. I think we need some more of that green going on over here, so I'm gonna drip some of this, pull some of that up, scoot up some more. I just scooped some green out of one of my cups. We'll pull that up in here. I'll make some trees. Old Bob Ross, we're gonna make us some happy trees. I don't know, what do y'all think? Pretty close in there? This area is kind of neat in here. I'm gonna torch it, see if we get some other interesting stuff out of it. Oh, you know what? Torching it, lighten that up quite a bit. I like that. Oh, mysterious. I'm gonna drag a little bit across here. This area is just super solid green. I don't know, it's just throwing off my sensibilities a little bit. Let's see if I can pull across here just a little. down there I wasn't all that crazy about before looking a little overworked now Let's see if it'll torch out that silver's looking pretty through there you guys I'm um I think I think I should stop I could keep going I could keep pushing it but um, I don't know how much more it would go, how much more I would get out of this one. 
So uh, I'm going to leave this for right now. Um, yeah, that's it. So getting better at this. Things are coming a little bit easier. I'll be working some more on mountains and trees, and we'll just keep seeing where this goes. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video, and feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you like the content, please hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And uh, most of my paintings, including this one, will be for sale at my Etsy store. So go to Etsy.com and just look up Art by Steve Shaw, all one word, that's my store, and uh, see if you'd like to pick up a painting. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.